Welcome back to realvacantland.com. This is Luke Smith. I've got a property for you. This one's in California. It's about as far away as you can get from people and still be in California. People are a long ways away in every direction. So I'll show you some maps. I'm usually talking about how close we are to something, but this one's way out there. And so I'm, you can play with all your guns and fireworks and whatever you want to do and not have anyone come tell you no. Play with, you know, whip out your loudest dirt bike or four wheeler and just go tear it up. You like to play with bulldozers and dynamite this is a property for you let's take a look at this one um, so we're in San Bernardino County California I've had many properties in San Bernardino County California lots of different parts of the county and uh, this is this is a part of the county that gets some of the cheaper properties um, I haven't had so many properties in this part of the county but uh, one of my good friends that I've done a lot of land deals with has, has had lots and lots of them in this area. And the people that usually buy them are buying them for off-roading. You take your fifth wheel out there, take your camper out for the weekend out of Los Angeles or Bakersfield or, or somewhere, um, Riverside or something, and uh, go throw a party for the weekend. And, you know, just have a good fun, have fun, have a throw down, do what you want to do without staying in a campground and without having somebody right up next to you. This is 20 acres. And even the properties next door don't really have anybody around. So you got 20 acres, a buffer, and then a whole bunch from there with nobody around. So you can drive up to this thing and um, just have a blast, right? Throw a party. So I got a couple pictures, some cartoons of what it looks like. There's a mountain in the background that probably make for good shooting range. I mean, there's nobody around. You just shoot any direction you want. Um, you set up a skeet range. You can make it go downwind if you like to go a little faster, upwind if you want them to go slower. <laughs> you can see it go in either direction. It doesn't matter. There's no one around, right? So here's some different pictures of it. Um, here's some, the mountains behind it getting up to 34, 3,500 foot. It looks like this property is maybe 31 or just over 3,000. Fremont Peak Road is a little road to the south of here. Um, the 395 is going off to the the west of it so it's just east of the 395 if you know the 395 like it's up north of Kramer Junction outside of, of uh, Barstow so we're looking at this thing from a couple different directions and all the different cartoons we've got on the, the website but let's get into it let's go into the maps let's pull up the maps I like the interactive maps we've got interactive maps on ruralvacantland.com and almost all the properties we're working on getting them on all the properties but you can go to the link down below I got a bug going at my head Maybe my head's getting too shiny, right? I lost too much hair. It's shining in the lights. The bugs are going after it. <laughs> Jeez. So here we go. This thing has these mountains in the background, and you can see them in this map. And I'll do 3D on it too, but let's zoom out, and I'll show you where we're at first. So these little roads just to the south of here. Kramer Junction is just a little bit further south. Uh, Barstow is over here, you know, right here at this, this fan. And then LA is down here. This is um, San Bernardino, but LA is over here. And I'm getting zoomed out too far north. Let's do a map. So here's the property up here. So if you go north, you're getting up into the Sequoias and you know the backside of the Sierra Nevada. So you go north, you can have all kinds of adventures up in the mountains. And people will drive by the 395 coming from town to go adventure up in those mountains on the weekends. So you get some weekend traffic going by. And then you pull off 395, they're going way north of their adventure spot. You can just pull off and go camp, go have fun out at this property. Bakersfield's not too far. I got some maps of that. Los Angeles, Riverside, um, Las Vegas, and Barstow. Barstow is this intersection here. I'll pull those up in uh, some future screens. So there's the map. There's a buy it now on the website. I'm asking 5999 for this 20 acres. And uh, so if you click the, let's make sure it's working. Click the buy it now. You click on there and uh, okay, it's just asking for a $500 down payment. You put the $500 down and then you send a cashier's check or wire money or, you know, mail some money or go deposit in my bank account or something like that to pay for the rest of it. Um, title information, put the title, what name you want to own this property in, the tax information, um, what, uh, you know, where do you want the taxes, the future tax bills sent to you on this property? Um, it doesn't have a mailing address, so you got to pick somewhere else to get the tax bills sent to you if you're trying to move on to it. There's contact information, so I can ask you questions and stuff in case there's something going on here. Or just call you to say thanks for buying it, right? And next, yeah, so click, 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 hit next. 
And then you can put your credit card, debit card, or bank account information in there to pay the $500 down payment, hold the property, get it off the website so nobody else is buying it while you're paying the rest of it. And it's not meant to be a down payment like you're going to keep making payments over time. It's meant to be to hold the property so you can get the rest of the money in like within short order, the next week or so. Um, and if I don't hear from you and disappear and you want to do payments and stuff, I'm just going to send you this $500 back because that's not the point of the $500. It's to reserve the property for you to pay the rest of the $5,999. You know, so it'd be $5,000. Uh, 499 on top of this first 500 that you put down that you need to send a check or get it get it into us We can start talking about the logistics to get the rest of the money and paid for we'll get it deeded over into your name Okay, so we've got GPS coordinates on here if you click on that I'm just gonna click on it open in a different window and what happens is you can type in Let's say you want your address, you know wherever you're at trying to figure out how to get to the property You can put that in there and it'll get you there um, if you want to uh, find something else, like I pulled up Barstow on there. So Barstow, it says 53 miles to Barstow. It goes through Kramer Junction and then over to Barstow. It says it's like just over an hour to get to Barstow. Barstow has major supplies like gas and groceries and Home Depot, Walmart, all kinds of supplies and stuff. There's jobs there too. Um, big trucking center, distribution center, the main routes that come out of L.A., go there and then they split off the 15 and the 40 and they go across the country. Um, so there's a lot of um, you know, warehouse kind of things like logistical warehouse. So they move stuff around the trucks that just get off the boats and then they distribute it out to different places. So lots of those kinds of businesses there. Bakersfield goes the other way. So if you went west, you go over Bakersfield's. Bakersfield's, Bakersfield's another um Center for supplies and things, but that's two hours. That's twice the distance as going to to bar soap Las Vegas is more entertainment. You can go north up Las Vegas you can get cheap flights and stuff out of Las Vegas, too So if you're trying to get flights to go somewhere Vegas is a good place you go down to LA to get them, too But uh, Vegas is probably easier to get in and out of so Vegas three hours 16 minutes That's like if you're following the speed limit, but I mean doesn't seem like anyone follows the speed limit on that route that you can just go flying through there so it, you know cut that time down if you're not going at peak times barstow you go through barstow on your way over there los angeles if you're going to los angeles you're coming from or going to it's there you know so this is the middle of the day it's like 11 o'clock right now it's not traffic time so this isn't all lit up and red just got a couple of little yellows in there but it's uh saying what are they saying? Two and a half hours of downtown Los Angeles from this property. So if you're in Los Angeles, working in Los Angeles stuff, you could shoot out here for the weekend. I used to live in Southern Michigan, go to Northern Michigan every weekend, every vacation all summer. All, you know, We did hit the road. As soon as school was out, we would take off Friday afternoon and we'd be to our cabin uh, for dinner time. And uh, that was like a three hour drive. And so this is two hour, 40, you know, it's just a little shorter than that same drive I used to do as a kid. And so you could totally jet out of town on Friday, go enjoy this property for the weekend, come back late Sunday evening to get back and go to work or school or whatever you're doing on Monday morning. You could probably even do it on Monday morning, but that's, you know, depends who you are. Um, so I pulled it up on Zillow. Zillow's got, uh, I think, some of the best market data. I'm not saying it's the most accurate. It's definitely not the most accurate, but they've got some of the most coverage. They cover lots of stuff. They get the MLS stuff and the for sale by owner stuff, and lots of lots of stuff is covered in here. So so I keep pulling up Zillow. Um, I think you get better data on Redfin or I just I've been playing with Zome X O M E recently. I get a lot of data on there too. I, I might start using that to show you guys properties. <clears throat> um, so here we are the here's Kramer Junction the property is just off the side of the 395 over here and uh, so this is I pulled up 20 yeah 20 acres and plus and it's just set from the last video I was just making about whatever but this is a 20 acre property so 20 acres and up there's Barstow the whole greater Barstow area and up to where this property is $5,000. I looked at that the other day. That's not really $5,000 or 45 acres of buildings on it. It's $5,000 a month rental. Like it's a rental. It's not for sale. They just didn't list it right. 
So this one over here is 7,500 bucks. That's pretty cheap. $7,500 for 20 acres. Does it show where it is? It's not even, it's not on the map. So it's probably why it's been up for sale forever and people aren't taking off with it. But 7,500 bucks for 20 acres and they don't really show you where it is. It's like, okay, how am I gonna shop 20 acres and I don't know where it is. They basically say, get a surveyor to figure out location. Um, what kind of sales pitch is that? Yeah, the price is low. But I'm asking 5999 I'm still beating their price, and I'm showing you exactly where it is. So here's one, 8000 bucks for 40 acres. That's pretty cheap. That's really cheap, actually. $8,000 for 40 acres. So that's twice the size of mine. That's some pretty good competition. They just came up on Zillow nine days ago, so it's probably good data. It's not like some of those crazy numbers. This is, here's Hinkley. Oh, so this is where, like, Aaron Brockovich was, like, where the water where the water is all sour and nasty. So maybe that's why it's so cheap. Like this is the, uh, you don't want to drink that water place. <laughs> Remember Aaron Brockovich? Yeah. Um, 9,900 bucks. Let's see where that is. So 9,900 bucks, 40 acres this is pretty good. There's some good competition. I don't know. They, they got APN numbers. They got blocks here. So I could find it off of that if I went looking. Um, not while I'm live on the show, but this is the Kramer Junction area. So that's pretty good. $9,900 for 40 acres. That's pretty cheap, 40 acres. Mine's 20 acres, 5999 Mine's cheaper, but his is twice the size. I mean, I don't know what the difference between 20 acres and 40 acres is out here because it all starts looking the same and you go camp on one spot of it. Um, there's nobody around as your neighbors anyway. <laughs> you save a couple thousand bucks, but this is more land for per acre. This is going to be a little bit less per acre than mine. Mine's the cheapest on the market, but per acre, he's got hit me beat by a little bit of money. Um, and this looks like a wash floodplain. I don't know. These other ones don't really show you where it's at too well. I'm sure you can find it. And then the prices go up from there. So I've got the cheapest, the cheapest, cheapest. It's not in the queue here. I should go get it posted on Zillow. So it's the cheapest in the queue. But it's on realvacantland.com. Hit the description down below. Hit the link down below to go get it off the website. Let's see if I can find the right button. There we go. <laughs> Hit that button down below or the link down below to go see it on the website. Get the directions. There's a link in there for directions. Go take a look at it. See if this is the right property for you. Get your dirt bike out. Drive around. I want to say I guarantee you no one's going to complain, but, you know, it still is California. Go check it out. Go see if there's anybody there. I doubt there's anybody around. You could probably go there every weekend for a year and not see anybody around. Play with your dirt bike or whatever toys you like to do. Launch rockets. I don't care. Go have fun with it. It's rural, this is Luke Smith, RuralVacantLand.com. Bring you another cheap, easy property, cheapest one in the area. We've got lots of cheapest properties in the area spread across the country. We keep serving them up. There's no fees on this one. Check out with it. Go for it. Have fun. See you in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.